four sick Americans are suing the U.S. Marine Corps for religious discrimination. And joining us now to talk more about this is ABC 10's Candace Red. You're explaining, Candace, the group is being placed in a position to choose between their faith and their career. And Madison, that's right. Good evening to you. Well, the U.S. Marine Corps uniform and grooming regulations are clear. No beards, but a sick Marine officer and three other recruits say that sort of policy compromises their faith and identity. It really is unfortunate. Sikbir Singh Tor, Malap Singh Shahal, Akesh Singh, and Jaskirat Singh are suing the U.S. Marine Corps for religious discrimination. Each of our clients is, is basically being asked to make a decision between whether they can uh, continue to practice their faith as Sikhs or serve our country as Marines. A group of attorneys are representing the sick Americans. They filed a 46-page lawsuit on Monday, claiming the Marine Corps only allows the four men to practice their faith, quote, sometimes. Each of them has received an initial decision from the Marine Corps that uh, ostensibly grants their accommodation, but includes a pretty substantial li limitation that requires them to remove their articles of faith, uh, to shave their beards, cut their hair, remove their turbans, to attend basic training. The Marine Corps uniform regulations reads, quote, the face will be clean shaven, except that a mustache may be worn. We are um, uh, not supposed to cut our hairs. Gurdav Singh Ray Howe is with the Sikh Temple of West Sacramento, also called Gururawa. He says Sikhs do not cut their hair as a sign of commitment and acceptance of God's will, and the same can be said for wearing a turban. You know, the turban is, is our um, standard identity. This idea that you can simply pack up your sick faith into a suitcase, that you can put it away, attend basic training, and then readopt it at the end, it really sort of smells like a loyalty test. The racing culture team reached out to the U.S. Department of Justice about the lawsuit, who declined to comment. Madison. Candace, thank you.